you learned about the technique? Oh, it was definitely, it was definitely this, this summer when I was here. That's one. But, uh, but I remember I remember the 04 loss just because of who was on the team and uh, being from Houston. So guys like that, like guys were on the team. But the 06 loss, I didn't. I never know about until we were here. So, am I messing my years up? I'm, I'm talking the Grace game. Was that 04? Was that yeah? I think that was was that 04? Yeah, that was 04. Yeah, yeah, I don't remember. But yeah, no, I don't, so I don't necessarily remember the game because I probably wasn't watching it at the time. But um, guys like you know Steve, like Steve Francis was on the game. I was on the team. Uh, AI was on the team. So like that's kind of why I know. Okay. But um, I don't remember how the game went at all. I couldn't tell you. In 04, I was. Uh, I wasn't even, I wasn't seven yet, because I would have turned seven in December. So, no, I don't remember that game. Yeah, yeah, he said that's one game that that really haunts him. So it's one that, it's one he's really been mad about, and uh, he, he's definitely talked about it since. Where, we were like, where did he bring it up? Were y'all at dinner? Or? Oh no, I was. Uh, I think it was our first. It was our first meeting. The first meeting we were talking about it and just kind of going through how the team has played in the past because this is, you know, his first time being the head coach for it, So, is that idea oh, facts, that this sure. program has been uh, y'all getting the top? Yeah. All right. You guys have a perfect sense then. Like, does that come with any pressure, or is it just like? That um, obviously, you know, there's pressure to win because everyone expects us to win, and um, you know, we kind of going with that expectation. So, uh, for us, we we just try to. We're trying to gel together as quickly as possible, go out and play the way that we're supposed to play and let the chips fall where they may. Thanks, Tony. Yep. I don't want you to make sure the admission to sound here. I'm going to talk to you. Would you be pretty surprised if you were leading this team when you Um, I don't know. Uh, I say I try to I try to do everything possible uh, to continue to help the team get better. Um, you know, of course, I hope I make the team. But um, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't. If it does, it does. And you know, of course, I want to go over there and uh, just be able to be able to do what it, whatever it takes uh, to put this team in position to win. So. What's special about this 2017 group? I mean, there's so many of you guys. Obviously, there's a lot of opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think you guys are all doing? I mean, I think guys have kind of are starting, you know, to really establish themselves in the NBA, and um, I think it's definitely great that you know the coaching staff and uh, the committee, you know, were just were able to, you know. They thought, you know, enough of us to be to be able to be here. Anything you know of Harris brings that up about his personality and his command that you didn't know maybe a couple weeks ago coming into this camp? Uh, coming into camp? Uh, I don't know. I think I learned a lot about H uh, during the season. I don't think there's anything. Um, I don't think there's really anything that I learned here because basically, you know, when he came to the team, we're around each other a lot anyway. So I haven't learned anything new yet. Not here. Nah. When, I mean, considering he's got such a wealth of international experience, his game obviously speaks for itself. But is he is he any different in this camp than he would be in a typical Kings season? Um, I wouldn't say necessarily like skill wise, but just the understanding of the game because he's been through it. So obviously, you know, it's a little bit easier for him and with everybody else trying to adjust. But uh. He's definitely one of the guys that I that I ask the questions with because he has a he has a gold medal. He's he's been here and done that. So um, he's definitely he definitely has that knowledge that you know a lot of us don't have. I've been every single session you guys are going and lifting. What's up? What's yeah. Like? What take us inside there? Y'all want me to tell y'all what happened today? Yeah. No, I'm not even gonna put them out like that. <laughs> but um, I mean, just his work ethic, obviously. Uh, you know, he's always he's always ready to get more work in. He always. Uh, He's always taking care of his body. Um, he's definitely helped me become a better pro since, since I've been around him. Um, you know, a lot of these Olympic basketball generations are sort of measured by draft class, like the and some of those guys. Do you feel like the 17 class could be sort of like that for USA basketball? Uh, definitely. Um, and like I said before, you know, I think a lot of the guys are, you know, kind of already established themselves in the NBA. So um, I think when that happens, then obviously, uh, you know, committees will definitely take notice and. You know, want to bring guys together and see how guys are able to gel together and uh, be able to represent their country. So, anyone in this, in this draft class that you've gotten closer to as a result of USA basketball? Um, probably Kuz, just because uh, with Jason Donovan, um, I already knew those guys. You know, outside uh, outside of the NBA, you know, before we went to the NBA, I knew those guys. So I think Kuz is the guy uh, from the from the draft that I didn't uh, that that I didn't know going into it, and I think we definitely. Uh, I've definitely gotten a better relationship. I know you only really know what you've been through, but do you feel like something about the, the process before you get to the NBA kind of brings these guys a little bit more together before that even happens? Uh, yeah, definitely, because when I think when you're going into your rookie season, um, you kind of lean on other guys that are kind of going through it as well. Um, and of course, you know, you try to ask, you know, the older guys how theirs was, but I think it's, just, it's a little bit different when you're going through it at the same time. So 
Uh, I think guys that come in with a relationship before they were in the NBA kind of uh, grow, you know, as they go through, the, through this together. Is it a weird being in this building? In this building? Uh, no, I had a work out here. Uh, not necessarily. I mean, when you're other, when you're um. When you're on the road and you have practice, you kind of practice at other teams' facilities sometimes, or you go to a college every once in a while. So, nah, I wouldn't say so. When Lowry wasn't, obviously, he's not able to go. He's injured in the first week of the playoffs. What did you, the time you spent with him, especially in those first couple of days? Is he pretty invaluable resource? Oh, yeah, he was great, man. He was, um, I mean, he was open. You know, he, he's won a gold medal as well. He's been through this, and uh, he was just giving us and giving myself as much knowledge as, as he could while he could. Um, even even though he wasn't on the court, he was definitely making an impact while he was here. For you, what do you feel is the biggest obstacle for you for this week? Uh, for this week? Um, I don't know. Um, obviously, you know, fatigue-wise and just trying to continue to get better, continue to grow through this, I think it's really just not knowing what you don't know. You know, uh, it's an entirely different game than we play in the NBA while you're trying to learn some plays, while you're trying to get used to playing with each other. So I think the biggest obstacle is just trying to figure it out as fast as you can. What's your team? What does he mean to your team? I mean, obviously in the summer league he comes in with a whole bunch of swag, wasn't able to play, but every time he entered the gym, it was like new. So my hair, oh, you say Harry? Yeah. Oh, uh, wait, what's the question? Just, just what is, when you look at him and just the season ahead for him, for him it's only the second NBA mm -hmm. season, but how big of a step do you feel he'll make? I think he'll definitely make it. Um, I mean, it's like I said before, you know, it's a bit different when you're going through your rookie year. But now that he's played the game, he understands the game a lot better. Um, I think everybody comes back better, you know, after their rookie season. What's the communication like with uh, Luke and, and the new coaching staff at this point in the season? Are you, are you talking to them during USA basketball? Or are they able to watch it all? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I talk to them um, every once in a while. I don't talk to my coaches too much. I, uh, but with the community, the way, I mean, I haven't seen some of the guys, but, you know, we've definitely reached out through, through, uh, through text messages and, and phone calls. Um, that's one thing uh, he, he's definitely great at. It's been, it's definitely been communicating because we haven't been together, you know, really during the summer. I probably had like two weeks with him during the summer, but um, he definitely communicates uh, extremely well. Uh, we're trying to get to know each other as much as we can. Uh, it would have probably been a little bit more, you know, if I wasn't, you know, here with USA Basketball. But uh, he's pushed me to, you know, to, to go out and try to make the team and, and try to do this because he says uh, any player that he's either coached or you know played with have went to USA Basketball and, and come back better. So. Uh, he definitely pushed me to be here, and uh, we just try to continue to grow our relationship, you know, before the season starts. I know you, you guys got to go through training camp and, and learn a lot about each other still, but what do you feel like is, uh, is going to be the biggest thing for her? What you doing? Cool. Uh, I want to get it done somewhere else. <laughs> where? The hotel? Or where? That's fine. <laughs> what do you think is going to You tell Jason? Hey, he right here. Hey, hey, he's right here. What was the question? I forgot the question. Oh, no. it's, what do you think is going to be the biggest um, imprint that Luke is going to make on the Kings and, and what you guys are going to look like next year based on your conversation with him so far? Uh, I think it's obviously like, you know, defense, uh, the way that he coaches, um, you know, something that we that we didn't. You know, necessarily figure out throughout our season. Um, you know, we played fast, we scored the ball a lot, but uh, there was you know something defensively that we just had to figure out. And I think that that's kind of what he'll install in us and just being a young team. And I think um, we've, we've got we've got you know vets that you know can guard and really understand the game that'll definitely help out us young guys. So I think coming in defensively is just something that uh, something that he, I think he'll establish early. What are you most curious about? Uh, what am I curious about? Um, I don't know. Curious about a lot of things. <laughs> I mean, I guess as it pertains to the things right now. Um, just the way that we'll look. I mean, you know, we kind of we got different pieces. Um, I'm excited to see, you know, what everybody, you know, really did during the summer. Um, everybody, we know, kind of went their separate ways. Everybody kind of came together. Came to, everybody came together a little bit during the summer, but obviously, you know, extremely excited to see guys after the summer and see see what guys have worked at and. Uh, just what, every, what everybody's gotten better at and just try to gel together.